Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and I am the hands <laughs> this time behind Debt Free Panda, which is a online budgeting goodies um, shop, as well as a personal finance Instagram account where I share my personal finance journey. You know, we're paying off debt, we're saving for a house, we're saving for a vacation, so you can follow me over there. It'll all be linked down below. Um, but today we're actually going over the brand new savings challenge book. Okay, guys, this has been in the making for months upon months. Okay, I initially started making this um, like by hand. I will try and show a picture of the, I guess, original savings challenge book. I had only made three or four of them. And it was so much work <laughs> um, because some of the challenges were like scratch off challenges and I ran into a lot of issues with that. So long story short, there are no scratcher challenges inside of the savings challenge book, but it is still the same challenges that were in the previous one and even with a few more added in. So this is the savings challenge book that I designed and I had it printed right here in the United States. It's actually in a little print shop in South Carolina is where I got them done. So let's get started and I'll show you guys an overview of the savings challenge book. So it is eight and a half by 11 um, half size. So it's eight and a half by five and a half is the final size of it and it's compact it fits nicely in your purse in your desk um but first things first you have a how to use page and it basically just says after your bills are done do you find yourself with extra money let's try a savings challenge to save towards additional goals that you would otherwise not be saving for so the front cover there's a little box for you to put your name in and the very first challenge is the 52 week challenge so you can save up to 1378 and I'm actually going to keep track of how much you could potentially save if you buy this book so I'm just going to start writing them down um, but behind every savings challenge is a transaction tracker sheet as you can see here, two columns worth, quite a bit of line, so you can like keep going at it, you know? Um, and then the next challenge is the monthly birthday challenge. And how I came up with this one is, you know, friends and family have birthdays. And what you would do is the day that they were born, that's the amount that you would save. So for example, in November, it's my sister's birthday and then it's my husband's birthday. So I have 15 and then six. So like the 15th of November is my sister's birthday. So then I would do 15 plus six is 21. So November, I would actually save $21 that month. And this, <laughs> who knows how much you could save depending on how many friends and family you have. Um, but let's just say it's $20 average a month. So we will call that 240, but I mean, that's potential to be way more than that. And then the next challenge is the bubble saver. Now this one, you can actually save $500. So I'm gonna put that down. So like in six months, if you fill in one circle a week, you would have $500. And just because like you fill them in doesn't mean you can't save that same amount again. So like I said, there's potential to save even more. And then the next challenge, which I'm pretty proud of if I do say so myself, is the Saveopoly. And this one was so fun to make. It was a little difficult, but I got it. And this one is you can roll a dice or you can use a random number generator between one and six. And then you start here and then you move your way around the board. Now, if you finish it, if you have all the spaces, you can save $300 with this one. But this is another one where you can keep playing over and over. So there's the possibility of saving more money. 
Okay, and the next one is the $2,000 Super Saver. And there's no box that's gonna be greater than $100, as you can see here. Um, there are like 75, 50, 20, $15 boxes. Um, so this one is $2,000. And then the roll the dice challenge, this one is another variable one. So let's say you do this once a week for a month, I guess. You could earn, like you could have 55, 65, 85, 95, $96. So let's say you, you save $96 a month. Um, let's just say, let's just say a hundred just for the sake of math. This one is variable. So like you could save a lot more money with this one. If you do it every week, every other week, things like that. And you could also choose your numbers if these numbers don't match up with you. So like you could even just do $1, $2, $3. So this could be a really good, um, challenge if you have smaller bills left over. And speaking of leftover... This is one of my favorite challenges. It's the leftover challenge. And it's just numbered one through 10. And this is perfect for like, if you have $4 left over and you're like, where the heck am I gonna put this money? I don't wanna put it back in my wallet. This will be the challenge for you. And I just been putting like a, a star on the ones that I've saved for, but I'll keep adding stars to the same box. And this one is also another variable um, challenge. So let's just say like $50 you could possibly save with this one in like a year's time. And then the next one is this is where you choose your goal and you fill it in. So this one, <laughs> this is another variable one. So it's going to be really hard to calculate this at the end and say you could save more than X amount of money. So let's say you wanna save $200 for $200 for holiday savings. So I'm being pretty generous with this. <clears throat> um, a lot of people save a lot more than that for holidays and that could be for food or for gifts, traveling, things like that. And this one is the night out savings challenge. And this one I had in mind of treating you and your significant other to like a really nice dinner so this goal at the end of it if you save all of them it'll be 250 dollars so i'll put that one down and then the next one is save your name and this one is also a variable one um but let's just say you know if you do just your first name Average is about six letters a name. Um, so let's just do like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Let's do $40 just to be safe. There's potential for more. Um, and then this next one is the 1000 emergency fund savings. Now this doesn't have to be for the emergency fund, but I, that's just what I named it. So this one will be a thousand. And then the very last one is the treat yourself. And this one, I thought maybe someone could use it for like a weekend getaway or buy something really fancy for themselves. Um, like get a whole like manicure, pedicure, your hair done, your eyebrows done, your eyelashes done. Um, and then this one also has a bonus of 200 over here. So it, that would be $950. And that is the last one. Um, and then on the back, it just has my logo. And I think that's my Instagram link to just in case you like gift this book to someone, they can find me and find more about my journey and other things. Um, so let's add these up. Let me count them, make sure there's 12. 
yeah okay so let me pull out my my separate phone here so I can use the calculator so with this book you have the potential to save over seven thousand dollars now that could be way more than that or it might even be a little less just because there are so many variable savings challenges in this book but I hope that was a nice overview of the book itself so if you want to stick around I can also show you the uh, bundle options that you have um, now the wallet is not included you will have to get one either on Amazon I have it linked on the listing itself I have an Amazon shop and also you can actually if you wanted to get the Lux wallet that's also linked there too um, but this is where I have it's the burgundy one this is where I have the savings challenge envelopes so you can see I have them all labeled already um, you can either get just the book or you can get the book and the stickers or you can get the book the stickers and the envelopes and there is also printable options as well if you are a more digital person or if you want to print them out yourself on a letter size paper and a hole punch them that's that's what you can do so i have it in us dollar and in uh, the british pound so what i mean by that is wherever there is a dollar sign it gets it's it's actually the british pound sign that way it it looks more normal to you know my other normal folks across the pond um but these are the envelopes they're my standard um top loading and then these are clear stickers but they look so good on the envelopes looks like they're printed on the envelopes which is really nice so i have so there's 12 labels since there's 12 challenges i already have a few of these um filled up with some money and then pretty soon I'll have more of them filled. But there is no right or wrong way to use the savings challenge book. You can do multiple challenges at the same time, or you can focus on one at a time. Like you make it how it works for you. I'm not one to tell you how to manage your money. Um, I mean, I myself am using multiple challenges too. I'm using the leftover challenge. I'm also using the save your name challenge. Um, and also the $500 bubble saver. It just, whatever you feel like saving, you just do it. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to do it. <laughs> um, but if you're brand new, I would say the first one you should do would be the 1K savings one. Just because if you don't have a savings for emergencies, that would be a really good one to start with. And... It looks like there's nothing greater than $50. So this should be pretty doable. Um, if you do it bi-weekly or, or monthly, you know, slowly build up to whatever, you know, works with your budget. Um, but yeah, so I will have uh, the listing for the savings challenge book directly linked down below in the description box. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions, leave them down below, or you can also email me which is hello at debtfreepanda.store. I can help you with getting started with budgeting in general or, you know, other things like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.